How are you doing today? Today I'm going to take you through recording some samples in Ardor 4. So I'll just launch Ardor, we'll call it a new session. We're in Ardor. And what we're going to do is create a new audio track because I want to record some of the samples from my old synthesizer here from uh, 1985. Bought it new. It was a thousand dollars. I was working at the golf course to pay for it while I was in high school. So we're going to add an audio track and we've got my Focusrite 2i2 second generation and we're just going to make sure we have a signal. There we go. So with Ardor you can do internal monitoring so I want to make sure that I'm using the right input. So to do this I've already got Scarlett as my default input and output uh, interface for sound. So it's got my port 1 and port 2 here so I make sure that I'm on port 2 and there we go we've got sound inside my DAW. I've turned off the direct monitoring and I'm just making sure that I've got good levels and it's not going into the red. Because if it's going into the red then you're getting clipping and I don't want that. So make sure we've got a good level and then basically all we're going to do all we're going to do is cycle through in a record session. So we set to arm. I want to set this to record and I want to monitor my input. And I'm just going to use middle C on each of these. So I'm going to sample my internal uh, sound samples here. So we want to start and let it fade off. Uh, switch presets, Let it fade. That one's a weird one. It's got tail after it. And I can stop recording. Now this one I did twice because I had a little hiccup in the uh, recording, so I'll just uh, I can cut that part out. So there we go. So there's the I've cycled through, and you notice that I was actually waiting for. The reverberation on the actual sound itself to tail off before I switched presets. Um, now all we do is we go back to the beginning, we turn the internal monitoring off so that we can hear the playback and whoops, to come back to the beginning. There we go. So what we do now is highlight the region we want to capture. I think I just want to do that because I can always add the reverb effect on the sample. So just to play that range. There we go. I can make it a little longer actually. So if I come down to there, I'll play that. If I'm happy with that, then I can just export the range. And I'm going to call it, well, let's see, CZ1000 internal one export. 
Now, the nice thing about this is right within here, if I add back now a MIDI, a MIDI track, and I'm not going to say reasonable synth, I'm going to say the sampler. If I add that back in, I've got my keyboard hooked up to MIDI, so I'll drop the volume, turn off the direct monitor. Okay, so what we just have to do now, I've added the MIDI track. I just have to make sure I'm connected to the right MIDI interface. I've got two. I've got a an Akai MPK Mini uh, Professional that I've got with uh, some MIDI controllers and pads and stuff on it. And then I've got my old synthesizer hooked up to MIDI. And we just have to, there we go, make sure, right now it's not playing anything because the sampler doesn't have a sound in it. So, if I was to bring up that sample and now create a new sound, I can do it based on the sound that I just exported. And it is in our projects, recording samples, export, and there's the selection I just recorded. So if I double click this, there's the waveform of the sound, and if I play it now, you can hear it. Turn it up. And from here I can add effects to it, like add a reverb, and some delay. And now it gives it a more rich, fuller sound that sustains a little better. And then from here, just call it new sample. Save it. And there we go. It's as easy as that. Let's make another one. So again, on the second input, we can play this. And that's the range that I captured. So if I export that range now, and I'm going to export it to the second. And now, again on my MIDI track, if I open that sampler again and I create to make a new sound, I can now bring in that new, and there's the different waveform for this one now. So if And then I can again add some effects to it. Reverb delay. Whoops. And then save this. And I can save that preset. go. This is about as easy as it gets. It's a little short and choppy, but that's where I can adjust and have the uh, sustain with my key press and adjust that as well later on. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.